Um, I've had a, a lot of people in the last few years um, ask how to use the add photo tool on our forum here at 450bushmaster.net and the easiest way for me to do this is just to make it a video so here we go um uh, let's just say um and i'm gonna post this probably and you're gonna see me as a post and this and i'll probably delete it because uh I'm just going to post probably one of the first pictures I come to. It may not have anything to even do with a gun. So, um, let's just say, uh, let's go to, let's just go to the trophy wall. Okay. All right. So I want to post a picture to the trophy wall. So I'm looking around here and I'm saying, okay, I want to make a new topic because I want to show everybody my new picture. So let's just title uh, what you're going to title it's going to be two different things all right um this i'm just going to say my new picture okay and then of course my autocorrect saves that i don't know if y'all can see that yep okay so um make sure everything's nice and focused there all right so then you come down here and here's the field here where you write Okay, here is a picture of my, and I really don't know what I'm going to pull up, so let's just find out. Um, what you do is you go down here, and you'll see where it says Options, and then another tab that says Upload Attachment, and then another tab that says Poll Creation. Uh, not to be confused with Procreation. You go to Upload Attachment. You see that light up there? And you click on it. And then it shows you this information down here. And it says file name. You've got a little box here that says choose file. And then you've got a little button here that says add file. And then you have a comment line you can add in there if you want to. Uh, what I do is I go over here to choose file. I always click on this choose file right here. And I click it. Just like that. And as you can see, it brings up pictures. Or it brings up, this is actually bringing up my movies. Um, there should be some pictures in here. Let's see. Oh, there's a picture from one of my most recent videos. It's that uh, case harvester that uh, I was discussing in my last video. All right, let's just say we want to download that. Uh, so I click on it to select it, and then I hit choose. So I click on that and then I click choose. And as you can see, it's downloading this here. So it's got a picture captured there. So what I want to do now is I want to add that file to, I want to add this file to this. So after I've chosen the file, I'm going to click add the file and then watch what this does. Now see, it pops up this little window under here and it's asking me do I want to place it in line and I'm gonna yes I do but what I want to do is I want to make sure it gets placed in right line the right way and I want to name it so let's say uh, let's just say harvester there so I see I typed in the word harvester there and then it says place in line well I want to place this in the line right under where I says here's my picture so I'm going to click on that and drop my cursor down right below the word here and then I'm gonna hit place in line and boom you see there's a file that has been attached right there now I can can after that as long as I don't interrupt that little field because you can see that's that's like an attachment now you don't want to put anything in between there but you know then I can say here is my harvester all right now i can also go in there and say this is a test post that way anybody sees that before i can delete it hopefully they won't respond or reply to it all right so 
now that I've got that in there, I want to place in so it's placed in line there. Okay, so I've hit that. So that's all that's good. Now then, now I want to post it. So I come over here, and you can see you've got save draft, preview, or submit. Now you can hit preview, and see it's going to show you where that harvester is now in the post. And so see here, if you look up here at the top, it says. Here's a picture of mine, and then it's got the harvester right there. And then as you can see right up under here, it says harvester, because I added it in that line right here. And then there's the file name, and then right here it says, here's my harvester, this is a test post. So that's what I want y'all to see. So I'm going to go down here where it says submit, and I'm going to click submit. Now, that's the message you should get. If you didn't do it right, you won't get that message. But now you, now see, there's a picture of my harvester. Okay. And that's all there is to it. Now, as far as reducing the size file of your pictures and converting them to JPEGs, there's all kinds of applications to do that on iPhone and Android. Uh, I use Udoodle. And I also use my email program where I select the pictures that I want to post in an email. And then right before I hit send, my email asks me if I want to reduce the size of those pictures to a smaller uh, file size so that it's not as big a file that I send to whoever I'm sending it to, which in this case would be myself. So and that's the way I can also reduce them. But sometimes even doing that with my email, it doesn't reduce them down small enough to where uh, this uh, forum format is powered by PHP 88 uh, as some kind of software group. Uh, this forum sometimes just doesn't like big pictures. Um, but I found that it's much better to do it this way than it is to use Photo Bucket or any of these other people because these other, these other entities that you're posting your pictures on, they always want to attach pop-ups or other links or, or they they try to get you to clickbait you over to go buy something. So uh, Photo Buckets become horrible about that. So anyway, that's how you do it. And uh, if you have any questions, you can call me or shoot me an email or message me or whatever. Uh, or you can just watch this video again. Um, but uh, that's, that's all there is to it. And so what I'll do is I'll upload this video to YouTube and then I'll post a link to it here on the forum. And then you guys can watch that. Okay? All right. Time for me to get ready to go to work. You guys have a good day. Um, stay safe. And uh, keep on thumping. Bye.